Hello, my name is Scott. I'm a player in the game Roll Incorporated on the Dice Cult YouTube and Twitch channels. Um, I wanted to show you how you can turn a Hero Forge mini, such as my character Caden you see in front of me here today, into kind of a top-down token that you can use in a virtual tabletop like Foundry VTT or Roll20 or Fantasy Grounds or anything else. Um, I mean, essentially, we're looking at creating something that looks like this, but there's a couple tweaks that we can do to make things look better. And I'll show you that process for importing from Hero Forge using a free Photoshop-esque tool called PhotoP and then importing into Foundry Virtual Tabletop. All right, so first of all, this is Caden. He's got uh, some fire on a sword and a dagger. Um, from the top down, there's a... First of all, I'm going to try to adjust his pose. I don't like that I can't see that fire quite as well when we look down. So I've gone into Pose, Advanced, and I'm going to click on his sword and we can do things like adjust the direction of his fire. I'm also going to kind of focus his nose, his face pointing downwards. And I'm going to adjust the wrist of his dagger just a little bit. See if I can't make it look. Yeah, I think that'll be work well. Now, the main thing that we want to do while we're in Hero Forge is we want to go to base and we want to click on this bar right here, the slot base, because that gets rid of the vast majority of things that we want to be able to edit out later. So we're gonna turn it just like that. Perfect. Now that we have it, let's grab, I don't know, snipping tool. That works. We'll say new snipping tool, oops, new snipping tool, and we'll drag a box around Caden. Perfect, we've got it. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside for a moment. Photop.com, this is the next thing that we wanna use. Photopea.com, this can do all kinds of editing and it's really simple editing that we're gonna be doing. So I've got my, my snipping tool thing here. I'm gonna say copy right there. I'm gonna go back to Photop and go control V to paste and there we go. So now we wanna remove all that background color. So I'm going to go to the magic wand selection. I'm going to select the background color and I'll hit the delete key. Gone. Uh, now, is there any, there's a little bit of that background color there. Any others? Don't think so. None anywhere else that I can see. That looks good. Um, so this is oh wait we've got that little bit of the, the the silver bar underneath of him so i can select that i can delete magic wand isn't doing the trick so i'm just going to go to the eraser and i'm going to uh, i'm going to select deselect i don't want anything selected there we go and i'm just going to erase you can always hit Control z if you make a mistake that is good enough i mean no one is going to be looking at that really closely. Now, one of the things I like to do, this is not necessary, but I think it works a little bit better. It adds some steps later, but it, I think it improves the, it overall, is I want to kind of center Caden's head in the in the square. So right now, if you were to look at that square there, you would, if you were to rotate Caden, his head would kind of be shifting around the box as you turned your character. So I kind of want his head to be centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the um, whole canvas just bigger for a second. Let's say 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. Okay. And I'm going to drag a couple rulers. You can just drag from the top and drag from the side. And that's kind of, yeah, we'll say that's about the center of where I want him to rotate. And now I'm going to just draw a box around him. Now we've got a free box here. I kind of try to make it square. I'm going to hold down shift so that it makes it a completely square box. And it's about right for a second. So let's just try to adjust this. And now as I drag this box around, you'll see it highlight when it's centered. Now that box wasn't big enough because it cut off some of this. So I'm going to make a slightly bigger box. Hold down shift again. I'm sure there are Photoshop people out there who can tell me a much better way to do this, but this is how I do it. All right, there we go. Our box now contains everything 
and it's centered on those ruler marks that we made earlier. So I'm going to say crop, and there we go. So now our character is centered um, in this box, um, which is great. Now, when we make this five by five box in, if you can imagine that this is one box on your on your VTT grid, this character is going to be a little bit small in it, but we can adjust that. We can increase his size uh, later on. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's first of all go file, export as PNG. And I'm just going to use whatever settings are there. Click save and it has downloaded my PNG file. All right. Uh, if I wanted to find that file now, do, 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 do. do I have that? Uh, yeah, so it's in my downloads. That's perfect. Um, and I can open it and see it there. Okay, I am going to go to my installation of Boundary VTT. All right, so this is my Foundry VTT installation. We're going to go to this pocket dimension. You can see there's some example ones I've done already. Um, maps by an edited map I made from, uh, I think it's CZE and PEKU. Can't remember their exact. There's uh, uh, some uh, assets here from Forgotten Adventures and uh, various things. Um, so let's go to our character. Um, in this case, uh, I've created a character here called Caden. Now what you want to do, in case you are not aware, there's two ways you can edit a token. If I was to just double click a token that's already on the map, I'm only editing that character, that specific token that's already on the map. Meaning this token here, Marin, if I edit this token, it only edits that token there. If I drag Marin from the side here, back onto the map, Marin right here, those changes I've made to the token won't have taken effect because this is kind of what we call the prototype over here. And any changes I make on the map itself don't count towards things that are over here on the side. So what we want to do is actually change what's called the prototype token. So for an example, if I was to open Marin here, there's just a token a token icon here. If I was to open Marin here on the right hand side, you see prototype token. If you want to make a change that's going to affect all tokens for all time or affect that character sheet or that NPC for all time, all whenever you place that token on the map, you always want to adjust the prototype token. So we're going to go to Caden. We're going to edit his prototype token. And I don't even need that anymore. We are going to Go to image, pick a new file. You can tell me off for having messy file structure later. Um, I'm going to choose a file at the bottom here. There's our, our saved PNG. I'm going to open it, it's selected, and I'm going to say select file. So it has been updated once we click the update button. So we'll click update token. And I'll drag Caden onto the map. And we can see that Caden is dead. Now we can see that this is the token that we created. Now it is a little bit small. It might be perfect for a halfling, for example. Um, but we can now adjust this token size. Um, again, if we want to adjust just this token, we can edit this token. If we want to adjust all tokens in the future, we want to make sure we open the prototype token. So let's go to Caden sheet over here prototype token and we go to image one square by one square that's perfect that's for a medium-sized creature but we can adjust our scale here so we're going to up it to say 1.5 for a second and say update token now that token hasn't changed let's drag a new one on perfect actually that's a pretty good size uh, and i'm going to get rid of that old one so now any token I drag on here, because we adjusted the prototype token, it's already coming through at that 1.5 scale, which is great. Now I'll show you, I did this uh, a bunch already with other uh, tokens from Hero Forge as well. 
I've made uh, a number of different versions and trying out different things, um, different style of flames. Um, but one of the things I like to do is I kind of compare, you know, how does it fit compared to my other tokens that I've created? And that's pretty good, I think. It doesn't immediately strike me as too big or too small or anything. And I actually like that the sword kind of goes outside the edge a little bit. Um, perfect for fighting things and kind of making it jump out a little bit at you. So anyways, again, my name is Scott. I am from the, uh, if you want to join us, like if you want to see who Caden is, uh, I play him in a game called Roll Incorporated on the Dice Cult Twitch and YouTube channels. I will include links to it. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Um, hopefully see you soon.